Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Tawheed, and today I'm here with a very interesting topic. Systematic review in five minutes. Yes, for all the scientists who want to learn systematic review, and you don't have time, then this video is for you. Systematic review in five minutes. I'll set a timer. So I want to make sure I finish it in five minutes and cover everything about a systematic review. Let's begin. Before we begin, press the subscribe button and click on this bell icon so you get the notification for my videos every time. Systematic review in five minutes. So what is a systematic review? It's a combination of so many papers. You combine so many papers together and you write one paper out of it by bringing something new or raising a new question. So this is what a systematic review is. You usually answer a question. So what is a systematic review? You now know. Now, what is the difference between systematic review and other papers? In systematic review, you follow certain guidelines, certain checklists, usually Prisma checklist, and we'll talk about that. So first thing first, for systematic review, what do you need? You need a Word document for writing your protocol. You need another Word document for writing your, your script, I would say your data. You have your data sheet. Now, the third thing you need is Prisma checklist. Yes, you want Prisma checklist to be open in front of you so that you can look at it and follow everything written in Prisma checklist. Every single thing you see in Prisma checklist, it's available for free on Google. You follow it and you will write your paper down. Now, the next thing you need is EndNote software or Mendeley software or uh, any reference manager software and you need an Excel sheet. So once you have these things, you are all set. Now, let's begin. There are three phases of systematic review. Phase one. Phase one is a planning phase. You plan. So you first decide your topic, decide a topic that you're passionate about, and now convert that into a research question. Second point is research question in phase one. Create a research question, a PICO question. P for population or problem, I for intervention, C for uh, comparison or control group, and O for outcome. So make sure you have a research question that talks about these things. If you want to keep it a systematic review, you don't want it to be converted into a meta-analysis, then just remove the control group, just remove the control group and your paper will remain a systematic review. So now, for example, Alzheimer patients who smoke, do they have dementia problem? This is my research question. Do Alzheimer patients who smoke have dementia problem? A problem of dementia, have dementia. So dementia is the outcome. Alzheimer patients is the problem or population and intervention is smoking. So this is how my research question is ready. Now, once my research question is ready, now I go to the next step. That is registration. So yes, you register your systematic review. Where do you register it? Prospero is the most common website. You go to Prospero website and register your protocol, uh, register your research. So if you have your protocol ready, that's why I ask you to have a protocol page, page ready where you will write your plan down you will then write it and in the future tense and you submit it and you register to Prospero. Once you register it, nobody will be able to copy your idea because your idea is already registered now. That means somebody is working on this paper. So this is what registration is. But it is mandatory. Is it mandatory? No, it's not. So for clinical trials, universities and hospitals, they keep it mandatory. But for you, it's not mandatory. Once that is done, you move to the next step. Now we have two more minutes left and I'll try to finish as soon as possible. Phase three, oh sorry, phase two. Now the phase two is the search strategy. You begin your search strategy, you decide your databases. Now how many databases you wanna use depends on your research question. And you decide your inclusion exclusion criteria. Again, depends on your research question. So yes, you decide about what kind of studies you will keep and what databases you will use. And once that is done, you use like, for example, PubMed, Medline, uh, Google Scholar, Although that's not the most common one, but you use Google Scholar and I'm looking at the time. I want to make sure I finish it fast. And now the next thing is that you start your search strategy. If it's PubMed, you, you search with the regular keywords and mesh keywords, both. If it's other databases, you don't. Uh, and uh, you need keyword search. You, you do the search. You have whatever papers are available. You keep a record. Same with the mesh strategy. Learn mesh strategy. Watch my other videos and you will learn that strategy. Now you have the strategy ready. You record it. Once that is done, you do the same thing with other databases. Now, once you have done this, bring it to Excel uh, file folder 
and now mix them together, remove the duplicates. Once you remove the duplicates, now you screen it, uh, the abstracts and titles, when the abstracts and titles are screened, now you move to the next step, that is, uh, you see the full papers, again screen it, make sure two people do these things, two people, and then you apply the quality assessment to the appraisal, quality appraisal, once that is done, you have the final number of papers, how you extract the data, and then you finalize, you synthesize the data, and then the writing. And once you start writing, make sure you have the IMRAD format, introduction, method, results, discussion, conclusion, and you have references. And this is how I have finished the whole highlights of a systematic review in five minutes. And my timer now will say five minutes in a few seconds. And now we are done with the five minutes. So here is the video of how to write a systematic review, learn systematic review in five minutes. If you like the video, make sure you share it with your friends. Thank you. Before you leave, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you.